Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Crazy Craft. And if you want to know what we're doing this episode, we got a lot of cool things lined up for you guys, but the biggest one we're doing is, of course, going ahead and making ourselves our first Transformer. That's right, everybody, I decided to pick one that actually flies around as a fighter jet, which I thought was a pretty cool Transformer suit, and he's also like a big giant figure that you can walk around in. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm missing a lot of items. I don't have armor, and I don't have weapons, and, or pickaxes. Uh, unfortunately, the reason for that is, I don't know if you remember the end of last episode, where the server literally crashed on us, uh, which, which was very unfortunate. That <laughs> was not something I wanted to happen. But because it crashed, for whatever reason, I lost all my armor and everything on me. So I lost my entire inventory. Uh, I didn't think it would be fair to spawn in my armor back just because it had been degraded. Not much, like three quarters of the way, or quarter of the way only, but I still didn't want to cheat. I didn't feel like it was right to do. I wanted to kind of play this one by the books. So the only thing I did ask for back was non-degraded stuff, and luckily the server admins were able to give me my three miners' dreams back and 28 Transformium more. I thought that was really all that really mattered, to be honest. Like, the other stuff wasn't that big of a deal that we lost. So we do have to start off the episode by making all that as well. So we have to remake our ultimate gear. Then I want to also this episode build this area back up that was destroyed by the dragon who even though he's set not to fire fireballs apparently that doesn't apply to him when you ride him. Like as soon as you ride him he just starts shooting fireballs off everywhere which I think is a little bit insane. Um, I personally don't get it but I mean, it's fine. He likes to do that. So we're going to have to rebuild that as well as this house right here. A lot of people are complaining about that, making sure it looks good. And then finally, the last thing, we're not going to do this episode, but we are going to do it on an episode very soon, maybe next episode. And I've seen all the comments about it. I just want you guys to know that I will be making a hangar for my airplanes and helicopters. So probably next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves going with doing some more stuff for the... Uh, for the helicopters and airplanes mod, uh, just so that we can build a hangar and have a fun episode that way. But that's really it, everybody. I think I pretty much caught you guys up to speed. So please, without further ado, let's get this episode underway. <laughs> I know that was quite the introduction there, but there was a lot to be said, especially given the circumstance. Remember, guys, please crush that like button, uh, especially for the fact that, you know, like... We kind of have to remake all the gear. I, I could have just cheated it back in. Not even cheat, just, you know, get it back in from the server admins. But I really didn't find that to be the fairest thing. I I don't know. Uh, I, once again, it just wasn't the biggest thing to me. So I thought it might be a little more fair if we did this the old-fashioned way and actually put in some effort here. So there is that much. I'm just trying to find iron ore at this point. Do we have any? Oh, just no. No. Okay, thank God. I did not mean to ride him again. The problem is when you ride him, he just starts firing off and getting all angry. So right now I'm looking for iron to use, or a pickaxe of some sort. Do we have any cooked up? Any iron? Oh, three iron right there cooked up. We're going to need a little bit more than that, but that's fine. I know where we can actually... You know what? I know the perfect place where we can get some more iron from. So we're going to go over here, go to where the old wishing well was, and from there we'll be able to actually collect us some iron. And I'm going to... Gonna have to eat some of our crops here as well. I didn't want it to come to this. There we go, we'll put one back. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to smash that as soon as we picked it up. There we go. We eventually have to repair this farm as well. I do know that much. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to get to everything. As you can tell, there's a lot of stuff on our to-do list. After last episode, with the dragon going amok, uh, and with the fact that we also lost everything due to a server crash for whatever reason, which was very disappointing, uh, we're kind of at a loss at the moment, so we gotta, we gotta play catch up a little bit here. But that's fine. We got a bunch of iron now, at least, from this well. And, uh, if you guys remember anything that I don't remember that we lost that was of importance, I can't remember anything we lost that was super important, uh, besides the things I named, but if you remember anything, let me know in the comments section of this episode, and the admins will be happy to give it back. Uh, but once again, nothing that was degraded, that's just my personal rule. Uh, if I had the chainsaw on me, that I will spawn back in, just, actually, let me check if I had the chainsaw on me, because if I had that, I would be happy to get that spawn back on me, because that's not really fair, because that one was barely used at all, uh, that would just be kind of annoying to have to rebuild it all. No, we even have that. Yeah. Like, realistically speaking, I don't think we lost anything that super important. I think we just lost some ultimate gear, which, which is annoying, once again, but it's not really... You know, there's far worse things that could happen in this world. Alright, so we got some uranium. We're gonna go ahead and build that up. So there's our ultimate boots. And then we'll get the ultimate helmet. Let's get... Oh, there we go. See, I'm starting to learn how to build these. Ultimate leggings. And I think you just go... Yeah, I think pretty much it's always uranium on the bottom, iron on the top, and titanium in the middle. And that's pretty much how you get yourself the gear. So there we go. And then titanium, uranium. 
Oh, other way around. The ultimate sword. Perfect. And then what else are we missing here? We got ultimate sword, ultimate that. Oh, we need an ultimate bow. We do need an ultimate bow. Oh, we'll sleep it off. I didn't even mean to click that. I meant to click the chest, but that's fine. We do need to sleep it off anyway at some point. So we'll we'll sleep off this nightmare, if you will. <laughs> it's not actually that bad, but we'll sleep that off. There we go. And we'll go right here now. Grab ourselves. Where are you? Where are you hiding, mister? The, uh, we had string. I know we had three string before we started this episode. I saw it in a chest somewhere. There's two string there. And we definitely... We definitely had a third string. If not, we'll just wait around for the rest of the episode to find it. I could have sworn we had three string. Maybe we only had two and I was just seeing things. Huh. Yeah, I must have thought it was three instead of two. Okay, well, not the end of the world. Like I said, we'll just have to, unfortunately, try and find another string by the end of this episode. At least we have the Transformium Ore with us, which is always great. So let's move this over to here, and then... There you go. Put that away, start cooking that up. And now that we have the Transformium being cooked, we can get ourselves ready to go on some awesome Transformers armor. There we go, we'll put that away in there. And what else can we build? Oh, that's right, we're going to need to get ourselves an emerald pickaxe again. So we need one, two, three. And we'll need some amethyst as well. One, two, three. There we go, and we got that. And then we're pretty much, everything's back to normal except for the ultimate bow. See, guys, we, we were able to do it. We are able to repair what happened to us, all the horrible things that happened to us. I'm going to go ahead as well, get the chainsaw going, and collect some more. Actually, we don't really... I think we have enough wood. And, oh yeah, by the way, outside of our house, from your neighborhood, Slime Petey. By the way, you should come visit soon. Baka's Battle Betty with Looting 3. That's sick. Thank you so much, Pete. We honestly owe Pete big time. So comment down below in the comment section if you have any ideas of how we can pay Pete back for such a generous gift. Because that was really nice of him. Like, he didn't, he didn't have to build this for us, but he just did out of the kindness of his own... His own peaty heart, and like, that's really cool of him. Like, I, that really does mean a lot to me. So I, I don't know what more to say about it besides that, but thank you, Pete. I really do appreciate it. And please comment down below with how we can get Pete back for such an awesome thing. Like, what can we, what can we make for him? Cause I know he's pretty far into this series as well, just like me, so I don't really know for sure what we can do. But I'm positive there's a lot of things we can do. I just don't know exactly where to begin with it. Okay, right, so let's get stone now. We gotta start repairing our, our nice little building. There we go. So we're going to get this going here. Boom, boom. All right. And if you're wondering what all that's for, once again, it's so we can start rebuilding the building, including this this one right here. We're going to rebuild the shed and the other building. Get just everything looking nice around here. At least nicer than it does now, because it looks awful. Like, this is probably the worst it's ever been in, in this current form. All right, there we go. No, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mr. Dragon. All right, there we go. And we have 12 of these regular stone. And I gotta get the carpenter's chisel out in a second here. There we go. Put a carpenter's block there. See, look. The land is starting to come together here. It's coming together. Slowly but surely. And then... We just come over to here now. Let's grab some of that transformium. We got all the transformium more there. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to do the rest of it. Let's see if we have any wood we can burn. Can we burn any wood at all here? Oh, we got... Oh, ladders are good for repairing our shed. Uh, oh, we got three wood. Nice. Very nice. I don't know how much that's going to actually cook, but... Oh, now we have 38 of that as well. So we can just use that. There we go. That will definitely be able to cook it all up. Um, A kyanite shovel. All right, that's better than nothing. Let's use the kyanite shovel. And, oh, actually, let's see if we have any dirt as well we can place down. All right, we got 13 dirt now. Any other dirt from here? Oh, there, that's where all the dirt's hiding. Okay, so let's just get this looking nice again right here. There we go. Just like a normal lake, at least. We'll cover this up. See, just make it look as if, you know, no explosions had happened around here because, as you could tell, that dragon did a number on our area here, and that was one of the biggest... The two biggest comments I'd say, besides things about Transformers, obviously, because, you know, that was what the next episode was going to be about the whole time. Besides that, the two biggest things pretty much were about repairing the area around here and doing the, the hangar for our MC Heli... Oh, I forgot that that would happen. I was like, what the heck is going on here? For the MC Heli mod. Uh, both of which are really awesome things that I do want to do. And uh, so I figured I'd do this one this episode, and the MC Heli mod stuff we're definitely going to take care of next episode. So I thought that'd make a lot of you guys pretty happy. 
Uh, seems like it did at least. All right, there we go. So make this look just a little bit more natural. There, that looks a lot better. And we can always get some dirt from elsewhere. Like right around here, we can get dirt. There we go. Come on, all this dirt up. Grab as much dirt as possible. And there we go. So we're almost done repairing the house and all this land here. There. That's gonna look perfectly... That's gonna look pretty much... Yeah, that'll look great. I'm trying to make it look as natural as possible. So we got that down. See how we're transforming them. Okay, we got all the transforming more. So we go ahead and start getting the transformer ready. See, I'm multitasking. I'm getting some housekeeping stuff done while we build this transformer. There we go. And now we have all the pieces for the transformer that we need. So we got the base four. I'm also going to go ahead and build myself another double chest uh, that we can put a sign on here. Just because, you know, inside the other room, like we said, we want to be able to kind of quote unquote beat all the mods in this. Uh, and so we have an inventory pets one, and the next one I want to build is for transformers. I think that'd be a pretty cool one to have, is to build every single transformer, like a set for every one of them. So, oh, we can mine up Pete's stuff here. So let's grab this sign. Let's get this out of the way. And clean that up. Clean that up. There we go. And we can put this on here. Transformers. There we go. So we can do all things Transformers. Also, guys, in this episode, I wanted to ask you guys in the comments section how to do it, because I really did research it. You guys know, I read your comments, and whenever you guys suggest something awesome to me to do, I research into it and see what I have to do to do it, and see, like, you know, if it's something cool that we can do or anything like that. Like, I really do take a lot of pride in this series, and one of the big things that all of you were requesting, uh, which I think would be a lot of fun, I just don't know anything about it, is 100% the, um... Uh, what mod is it? Uh, not the mod. The Transformium Seed. I researched all I could. Believe it or not, there's just not a lot about the Transformers mod out there. And I, I have, I'm just gonna be honest, I have no idea what the Transformium Seed is. For the first time, even after doing all that research, I'm clueless. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys know anything about the Transformium Seed. Everyone's saying it'll help me get a lot more of them. But, uh, if you know anything about it, like, let me know. And, uh, I'm happy to, to, to build one. You know, like, I'm always happy to learn new things and try them out in this series. I just, uh, I need to know what they are first, because I, I just have no clue what that one is in particular. It's kind of sad, but, you know, uh, that's what it's all about. It's a learning process for us here. So there we go, let's grab more. More of that old dirt a rooney just to clean this up a bit here. Regular cobblestone. Uh, okay, where's my chisel to? Chisel? Oh, chisel! Where's the chisel hiding? This is so weird. Okay, that's the hammer. We don't need the hammer, we need carpenter's chisel. There we go. Okay, so let's get this bad boy rolling. Hey, hey, look at that! And it looks like this building is... Repair to Rooney. There we go. Now that is one fine looking building there. I do say so myself. There we go. And I thought we can always plant this back down. There we go. Now no one can tell us our buildings look like a wreck anymore. Because that one looks good. It's being rebuilt. There we go. And then this one over here will be rebuilt shortly. It's going to take a quick moment or two. There's still a lot to go with it, but it'll get there. There we go, and let's see we can build that up there. And we'll make it look nice and uh and pretty over time. Alright, this is a this is a little area that we should have probably repaired a long time ago. And oh, we're gonna need Okay, that's just weird, like looking like that. Um There we go, let's see if we can grab all the Where'd all the sand go there? We totally just had some sand and it, it disappeared. That's so weird. Okay, well, let's... By the way, let's block that off. Stop the water source from going there, because that just looks a little weird. And then from here, we can, uh... Let's break apart all these blocks. And then... And let's clog this up underneath here. Perfect. And this... Yeah, that's a good looking side of it, but we're going to need a little bit more. So, you know, what? I'm going to go over here, just go off in the distance a little bit and collect 
a ton of dirt. Probably like 30 or 40 dirt here. I think that'd be a good place to start. And next episode should be fun building the hangar and a few more of the helicopter things. Because like I said, same way I want to beat the Transformers part of the mod. Same way I want to beat the Inventory Pets part of the mod as well. And the other parts all around. One big one that I do want to build at some point is the Helicopters and Airplanes mod. I want to be able to quote unquote beat that part of the mod and just collect, you know, every single type of helicopter and airplane out there. I think that could be a lot of fun. Just different things like that give us a lot of stuff to do with this series, and there's just so much more to do. A lot more fun to be had, and that's why I love Crazy Craft so much. It just gets me going crazy, and it's it's completely true. Okay, so let's... Okay, we're gonna need some more sand here. Just to rebuild some of the glass from our shed. There we go, so we'll drop a line into here. Do-do-do. Go, so we can start cooking that up. Curious to see if it's dark enough yet in the game. It is dark enough to sleep. We've just been breezing through this episode here. We haven't even started building the Transformer yet. I'm saving the best part for last. Don't worry. It's going to be a sick, sick ending to this episode. I'll tell you that much once we get that going. But until we do, I don't want to get too excited and do that and not take care of the housekeeping stuff because that tends to happen a lot. You know what I mean? If you're doing some exciting stuff, you're going to probably run into trouble with yourself just trying to get the... the the boring tasks at hand done. It's not even the boring tasks, just the necessary ones, you know? Like, we're, we have to rebuild this house. There's no and or buts. It looks, just looks awful. And, <laughs> you know, it's gotta be rebuilt. We can't, we can't be, it's not even a house actually, I'm sorry, the shed. That's what it is. It is just a tool shed. Keep that in mind. A lot of people are like, Jerome, your house looks awful. This, this isn't my house. My house is over there. This is just my tool shed. And I realize my house doesn't have any furniture set up in it. That's something I gotta do another episode as well, and I will in the near future. Because now that we've done a lot of the, the base keeping stuff, I guess, like the, not base keeping, the, um, you know, just doing, like, the, the base stuff for, for Crazy Craft, like getting Ultimate Gear and things like that, it gives us a little more time that we can devote to fun projects, like, you know, rebuilding our home, or just making, you know, our, our main mining camp over here better, or even just organizing chests and building, like, furniture mod stuff, gives us more leeway to do that, because we've taken care of a lot of the more in-depth stuff. Which, uh, which I think is cool. I think it's really cool that we took that route. So here we go. I'm gonna just make this look a little prettier. Boom. Okay, and... Nice. We can plant that there. And we got a perfect way down to the ground. So it looks like we built ourselves. Yeah, we rebuilt all that. And now we're ready to do some awesome Transformers stuff. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. Okay, so the first biggest thing we need is we need to take some of our Transformium ore... Which is very, very important to us. And oh, it looks like Petey just hopped on the server. So where is my extra Transformium? I definitely put it away to be safe. I just can't remember in which... Which box. What box would I put Transformium ore away in? Huh. Where did I put it? Where did it go? Did I... Did I put it away in the Transformers chest? I don't think I... I did put it away in there. Perfect. Well, that's very good of me, I guess. I probably should have seen that one coming instead of looking everywhere for it. Probably should have realized I would have put it there. The responsible thing to do. There we go, so we got this, and now we just need... We need two of these guys. Something along those lines. Is it this? Alright, let me take a quick look, everybody. Okay, so the way you're supposed to build it is like that. So we needed two of these... Boom, boom. The next thing we need, believe it or not, is we're going to need some rose red. Uh, the rose red is for part of the gear, because I guess, you know, Sky Strike for whatever reason is colored that way. So, we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves some rose red from somewhere, anywhere. And, oh, look at all these piggies. Perfect piggies that we can cook up their meat for. We're going to need to get as much... There we go. So, we're low on food. So, there we go. Oh, my God. Do we... <gasps> There we go, 20, I forgot that that sword is a flame sword, so we just got 22 pieces of cook, jeez, if I, if I remember that, I would have gotten that a long time ago, that really makes my life a lot easier, <laughs> now we got cooked 22 cooked chicken, or cooked, you know, pork chops, uh, I'm looking around, where the heck is all the rose red at, oh, rose red, where are you, for real, where's all the rose red, this is so weird, it's all gone, Ah, there is some rose red. We only need two pieces of it, so we can just go here and then... Bloop, there's one. Whoa, what the heck? What just happened? Oh, I guess we got a, a really cool potion effect for breaking the flower. Because when you break blocks in Crazy Craft, every once in a while you got cool potion effects. We had that added to the server, and I guess that's what happened there. So 
I'm happy with that. There we go, another rose red. And we do need some yellow for some yellow stained uh, glass. Now, also for the yellow stained glass, obviously we're going to need some more glass for the glass panes for that. Because I believe you have to surround the color you want in the glass panes. Let me see. Okay. I think we need, yeah, we need more. So I'm gonna have to get some sand. Do I have any, do I have any sand already collected or do I have to go ahead and go to the beach? Okay, I don't have to go to the beaches then and collect it, which is good for us. Now we just need some wood that we can cook it up using. Um, okay, we already got a good amount of pieces of it. So we only need three more. And that's good for us. Well, that's cooking, we can go ahead and build the helmet for Sky Strike, which I believe is something along these lines. Alright, so to build a Sky Strike head, unfortunately, what we're going to need is a couple more ink sacks. Apparently, they recently changed how you build them, which is fine by us. It didn't really alter too much about it, but we do need to get some ink sacks. I didn't know that was, uh, didn't know that was part of it. So let's go hunting in the water for one. Hopefully, don't run into any water hydras. And, ooh, is that an ender block over there? Let's go mine that up. I can't remember what they do. They might just be a collection of, like, a bunch of Eye of Enders. Which is nice for us. It's, you know, it's a good little thingy to have, but I'm not sure what else it does. So let's go check that out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Running along here, and... Let's see, what is that? The Eye of Ender Blocks. So we'll keep that. And oh, look at all the rubber duckies! Look at all the cute rubber duckies just floating around like that. Isn't it precious? They're all so great. Okay, well... Ah, there's some squiddies! Some, oh, well, those are the, those are the very violent squid. I don't know, do these guys drop ink sacks? Now that's a dumb question to ask, but, let's see. Do they, I guess maybe they don't drop any ink sacks. It's a little frustrating. What kind of eggs do they drop? Oh, spawn rubber duckies. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I guess they don't, oh, well, they drop gold apples, apparently. It's always good. Huh, surprised they don't drop any ink sacks, though. Very surprised. Okay, so let's try and keep looking for some squid juniors out there. Some squilliams. Oh, squid friends, where are you? Mr. Squiddies. Mr. Squids. That's the weirdest thing, because you never find, or you never have trouble finding squid. I guess it's only when you need them is when you can't seem to find them. That's pretty much what we're getting at here. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here. Oh, when they reset the player data, I also lost all my morphs. So I was going to totally spawn into a firefly and just take off and fly around. But I lost I lost all my morphs, too? Man, I lost everything when my player data had to be reset. That's such a bad crash. I'm, like, really sad about this. And, oh, a squid. There we go. Here's one of two. Just need a second one. Oh, we got three ink sacs from him. That's all we need. Okay, perfect. We got all this, the ink sacs we needed from just killing one squid. She's fine by me, and I'm sure fine by all the squilliams. I'm sure they're happy about that. Alright, so we finally finished this up. The way we make the Sky Strike Head is pretty cool. We just need to put the ink sacks like that, put the Transforming Head Mold, and put some iron on top, and we are good to go. So we got the Transforming Head, two ink sacks, boom! We finished Sky Strike's Head. Let me go and put my armor away, but actually I can just... Let me just put all this useless junk, a bunch of the useless junk anyway, away. Alright, and if I understand correctly as well, the way you make... Oh, we accidentally put away dandelion yellow, and we're going to need the rose red as well. If I understand correctly, I think you just pretty much... Actually, I think I need... Oh, my God. I need to cook one more up of those, don't I? I need one more of those to cook up. That's so annoying. Just so that I can get the... Uh... Oh, I didn't even realize I had those logs there. But I need one more of those to cook up, just so that I can have the... Uh, the mold for the glass. But while we're doing that, once again, let's put on our nice new head. Look at that. So we look pretty funny with it. It's only the head on. So, once the whole body's there, though, we'll actually be able to transform and take care of some cool stuff. Hey, dude. I actually just realized that Pete said that. I didn't even know he sent a message in. Oh, we can't sleep this one off because Pete's on the server now. Okay, no worries. Let's build... Okay. Why am I being so dumb? Is there a seat? That's how you build glass panes. I was like, what am I doing wrong here? Like, how... What did I do wrong for these glass panes? Oh, so let's see. Let me see... Uh, yellow, yellow stained, yellow stained glass. Okay, so that's how you do it. So I didn't need to do that, and now I have to recook up 
<laughs> I have to cook them up one more time. I got one more in there. In the meantime, let's see how else we build some of these Sky Strike things. So we got a Sky Strike torso. She's gonna need two of those jet wings, which we already built. Just like that. And then we're gonna need bone meal, which we have, and two jet turbines. And the turbines are built like that, so let's make sure we can get that down. So two blocks of iron. We're gonna need iron bars. So let's go and take these and just build ourselves some iron bars. We're gonna need iron block. We're gonna need a redstone rooney if I can find it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Break this apart here. Boom. And then, once again, just to make sure we can get this down pat, the torso, or the jet turbines, I should say. Okay, it's easy enough to remember. Easy enough, so let's hope we can nail it. And we got boom, 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 and then that. Perfect, so now we just need to do... Oh, well, actually, we're going to need to make a couple more iron here. Uh, a couple more iron blocks, I should say, I mean, if we want to do this. There we go. Forgot just about how much iron this is all going to take for us. This is this is starting to cost us a good amount of iron to build these cool things. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Give me the, I was going to say, just give me my jet turbine. I don't need the rest of that. I don't want it and I don't need it. All right, there we go. So we got that built now. And we just put that in the middle there. And then we can just do that. And perfect. Now to build. The reason why we did that is because to build the jet cockpit, we need two iron just like that across the top. And a iron or a yellow stain thingy there. And boom. Now we're working with what we need for the torso. Except we need bone meal. So where where's our bone meal hiding at? Come on, bone meal. Don't hide for too long. Bone meal causing all this trouble. We definitely have bones somewhere. Or bone meal. Although I don't know, I'm pretty sure Mitch keeps stealing a ton of our stuff and not and not leaving stuff. Like I'm pretty sure people have been saying that all the time that Mitch keeps stealing our stuff and that's why I can't seem to find anything. I know he did it for a fact once before, and people are saying he did it the other day, too, when I was looking for stuff, and I was like, are you sure? Like, but that's what people are saying. I don't know if it's true. I mean, you never know. People love to just try and cause trouble on series like this, so you never know. Okay, so we got that. And then we need that there. And ah, oh, what were the final two pieces? I'm having a brain block now about what the final two pieces were for up there. Um, was it iron? Because we don't... Oh, it was the two jet wings. Duh. Okay, that's how... Yeah. That was pretty dumb. So where did... I, oh, here they are. And boom! We have the Sky Strike torso we could put on. Wow, yeah, we're getting there! That's looking cool. The rest of the stuff's pretty easy. Yeah, I was gonna say, the rest of the stuff should get easier and easier. Uh, we just have to make sure we have the iron for this. I hope we do, otherwise we're going straight down to the mine shafts. Now we do have the iron. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. A gander at those. And we just go boom, boom. Boom, boom. I believe, was that it? Sky Strike legs. And now finally, the feet, the final piece. Wow, we barely had enough for that, actually. There we go. We just had enough bone meal for it. Oh, we did it wrong. <laughs> I did it upside down, whoopsies. I was like, what did we do wrong? I was like, I thought I had that. And boom, we finally have... Our first transformer completed. And that's what he looks like. You can do some cool things like if you hit different commands with it. So if we look it up real quick, the controls for the transformer. Probably a lot of them are, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a lot. I was going to say a lot of them are probably overlap with things. So we get nitro boost and stuff. But all we need to do, transform is, let's choose something. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think K is used. Maybe we can do nitro boost is X. Stealth, stealth mode, K is already used. N, N. Comma. Jeez. Apostrophe. Okay. That's so random. So here we go. If we want to transform, that's how we transform. And we can uh, just fly around like that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So we get to fly around whenever we want. We can just transform back using K. Like that. And also, we have stealth mode, which I believe... What do we choose? One of these... Oh, he might not, oh, you know what? He probably doesn't come with a stealth mode. Not all of them come with stealth modes. But that is it, everybody. We got our first Transformer, and I'm very proud of that. 
So, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Crazy Craft. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, if you did, please comment down below with what you want to see in the next episode. We always learn a lot from you guys, and it's a ton of fun to keep on learning along the way. But this is probably the coolest thing we've done in quite some time. I'm really excited about it, and I think it was an awesome episode so far. So, take care, everybody. Peace out, and I love you all. Thank you all for watching.